Hey everybody, I know some of you have been wondering and worrying how Chip is doing, and as you can see, he's chill right now. He actually, uh, oh my goodness, Rudy. Why, why, Rudy? Roaster. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, he actually walked up this loft himself, so he is at the point where he is, he is back to walking a little bit. Um, when I give him, once I give him the CBD cream, he typically gets up and moves around a little bit more like normal when he hasn't had the CBD cream for a little bit, or if he's just had the CBD oil, he does the slow walks and slow waddles. Um, so it's good. He's, he's getting better. Uh, he's relaxing. Uh, typically he doesn't move unless I come in here and like offer a treat or I'm sitting down like now I sat down and he went from his Heidi up here. <laughs> I don't know if he wanted to be close to me. I noticed there was a cookie there. I think that was that was Rooster's cookie, actually, from earlier in the day. So, And I know some of you have been wondering what I've been doing to keep him up and active. Um, I've been giving him some vitamin C. I've been giving him some CBD oil. I've been doing some CBD cream on his ears and on his hips. And I've been massaging him. And trying to help him walk, so like physical training style of stuff. Rooster, can you stop being a butt? <laughs> so this is actually the vitamin C that I've been using. Do you, do, what do you guys use, vitamin or vitamin? Either way, um, I've been doing uh, vitamin C here. Uh, and that has been a syringe. Typically, you want to do sir one syringe a day. But if guinea pigs are having, like, are, are they having like sicknesses or illness symptoms you can do up to two syringes a day but typically you only want to do one syringe a day um oh gee up you he knows what this is he loves the taste of this thing he gets so excited when he when he when he <laughs> when i'm giving it to him oh gee up i know <laughs> um and then when he wakes up i'm giving him a treatment of the uh, CBD cream here, hemp extract transdermal gel pin, um, just a little bit about, I don't know, like a size of a pea on the ears. Um, I rub that in and then I do one more on his hips and I rub it in. Um, that usually gets him going. And I do this, uh, in the morning and at night, this gets him nice and comfy for the day and night. Then during the middle of the day, um, I give him some of the pet hemp oil here, um, the Fast Results Multivitamin. Uh, it's, it's for pets. It's made in the USA. Um, you want to make sure it's sourced from the USA. Um, yeah, this is just one of the better ones you can get. All this hashtag not sponsored, by the way. But typically, I either put uh, two drops on a cookie or two drops on some a piece of veg and hand it to him. And this really helps him as well. So this is more of like an anti-inflammatory, whilst this is more of like a uh, fast action pain relief and anti-inflammatory. So this this does more for the pain relief since it's direct on his ears. And for those that don't know, guinea pig ears are very thin and there's a lot of veins there. So it allows for them to absorb things, uh, absorb medicines. So that's why when you have things like ivermectin, for example, for like mites, you put it on the ear, it absorbs quickly. Hey, Chip. How you doing, Chip? You're doing your little hustle there, Chip. Are you gonna go down? Oh, Chip. Good boy, Chip. <laughs> oh, you're a good boy, Chip. But yeah, aside from those things, I do massage him. I get him out. Um, I rub his hips. I rub his legs, I just get the blood war working, you know, um, try to make sure he's feeling good, and then I get him moving, I try to get him to walk on the floor in the living room a little bit, in my room, if I can, he likes to walk on my bed, uh, that seems to be the best place, I wonder if it's because it's softer, and a little bit more comfortable, I would imagine so, a bit rather than like, I mean, I have carpet, but it's still a harder surface than the bed. So he probably just likes walking on something a little bit softer. But yeah, um, it went from, what, Thursday night, he was bunny hopping and limping everywhere, to Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, uh, 
where he wasn't moving at all. He wasn't walking at all. He couldn't walk. He couldn't get up and move. He was just laying down. He literally, he literally could not move. And then Sunday night, I got the CBD oil, started doing the CBD oil. Monday, I got the CBD cream. And look at this. It went from him not being able to walk, move at all, to him finally back to going up the loft on his own, walking around on his own. It's a little slow roll right now. You can t- kind of tell that it's it's he's not a hundred percent, but I think with with the 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 massages, the physical therapy, and the CBD, I, I, I want him to get better. You know, I think he's gonna get better, guys. I really do. I really, really do. Hey, Chielp. You coming in here, Chielp? Yeah. There for a while as well, I was syringe feeding him critical care and water. He literally, when he couldn't move, I, I just was so worried. Um, he would still eat, but only if I put it close enough to him. So I gave him the critical care. I gave him water just in case he wasn't getting water. <sighs> I, I was just so worried. I really was. Now, the cost for everything up here, um, we did get it covered. So for those that are wondering, um, it's fine. Uh, the, the cost was covered. Um, it, someone did a really generous donation and was able to cover the cost of the CBD cream and the CBD oil. Um, as well as some joint supplements that I got him. Oh, I've been giving him joint supplements as well. <laughs> um, now, as far as like continuous treatment, if... Things don't seem to get better for him. I'm more than likely going to have to do the CBD, at least the CBD oil for a while. I think things are going to go fine, though. I, he must have hurt himself at some point in time. Now, I do feel like the comings of some arthritis in his hip, and the way you can kind of feel that is where the joints meet, if it kind of feels like a little ball bearing, that typically means there's a little bit of arthritis forming up. Um, and he is a slightly older pig. He will be three years old. He is a heavier pig, like a very heavy pig. He is over the limit of what a male guinea pig should be. So those things combined typically will lead to um, arthritis. Not saying it will, but it might. So I do believe he has arthritis. But that being said, I think he must have strained his legs at some point doing something. Um, Because it went from... And earlier in the day, he was able up walking no problem. Then bam, instantly he was gone. He was it was he was just un, un, immobile, unable to move at all. So he must have hurt himself. And on top of the pain of him hurting himself and the existing uh, arthritis, it, it, it just must have been too much for him. And he was overwhelmed. Um, so yeah, it's 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 definitely going to be something where I think. The, the issue with the initial pain and what caused him to stop moving will be healed over time. But we do have to work on uh, the budding arthritis in him. So that's going to be something that I have to worry about with a lot of my pigs. Mama Kona is going to be four soon. So we're going to have to worry about that with her. Uh, Scruff is a very, very big pig. He's a huge pig. He's the heaviest pig that I have, so we're probably going to have to worry about it with him. So I think the CBD oil is going to be something that I'm going to keep around. It's going to be an essential thing in my house going forward for guinea pig care. I already had the vitamin C. I already had some uh, critical care, things like that. The, the, the This hemp oil, the CBD oil, I think is going to be something that I keep around um, going forward. So whenever I start running a little lower on this... I'll reorder it. And the reason for that is, like I said, it's it's just good overall for them. A good anti-inflammatory. Um, it's good for keeping them calm. It's good for, a, you know, just, just improving their mood. So, <laughs> we've had a lot of people in the comments down below just talk up how good CBD is. Um, it's so much to the point where I'm doing some research on it right now to potentially see if... I were to give this to Peanut as well. He has a very, very temperamental anger issue. I'm wondering if the hemp oil here will be able to calm him down enough to be with a buddy long enough for him to um, pair with him, bond with him. And I'm talking about Scruff. <laughs> uh, Rooster, that's 
That's Chip's bed. He got that. Someone sent that to him special, Rooster. Somebody sent that to him special, Rooster. Rudy Rooster. <laughs> what are you doing in Chip's bed? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He wants to play. He can't play right now, Rooster. Maybe you playing with him was what caused him to get himself hurt. <laughs> Oh, it's a big yawn, Rooster. Rudy Rooster. Rudy Booty Boy. So yeah, I'm going to keep up the treatment for the for at least, I want to say the rest of the month. I'm going to keep the treatment up. I'm going to do the, the, the physical therapy. I'm going to do the massages, the CBD for the rest of the month. And um, hopefully everything gets better. Um, with With things getting better so fast... I, I think we're good going forward with him. I really do. I honestly truthfully believe that things will be okay for him going forward. Um, I just want to give a shout out to everybody that's sent, that sent well wishes. I want to give a shout out to everybody that, that's been helping me out. Um, I want to shout out uh, LA Guinea Pig Rescue for uh, this. Because I got this directly from the LA Guinea Pig Rescue. Now you can go to this their site, Mary's Tales site. Hashtag not sponsored by the way. But this particular pin... Uh, in this quantity, I only found on the LA Guinea Pig Rescue. And actually, Saskia has a video where they talk about this particular cream. Guys, guys, what what the heck is going on in there? Rooster, leave him alone. <laughs> he wants to sleep, Rooster. <laughs> but yeah, the LA Guinea Pig Rescue has um, a couple videos, actually, where they show off this using on a, an arthritic guinea pig. And, wow, it, it, you can even tell in the videos. There's one video where they do a before and then an after. And uh, it, it's insane, the the amount of, of progress it makes for that pig with just, like, one treatment of this. So, yeah, we're going to continue the treatment of the CBD cream. I'm going to keep giving him the vitamin C because I have been noticing he has been not eating all of his food and letting Rooster eat more. So I don't want him to get scurvy, so I'm going to give him the vitamin C here. And this might just be something that I do for the pigs more often as well. All the pigs, not just Chip. Um, I have been doing vitamin C on and off um, for a couple months, especially when I don't have the vitamin C cookies. But this is just a lot more cost-effective measure. Now, I don't have... Um, I'll have to get syringes. So... <laughs> yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to wrap that into the cost, but... Oh, Chiop. Look at you moving, Chiop. Look at you moving, Chiop. But yeah, I'll have to wrap this, the cost of syringes into the vitamin C there, but I think it's going to be fine. Um, I th the vitamin C is just like, it's, it's going to be very time consuming syringe feeding all the pigs the vitamin C, but they seem to really like the flavor. So, oh my goodness. What a big popcorn, Rudy Booty Boy. What a big popcorn, Rudy Booty Boy. You, you want to go play, don't you? I know, Rudy Booty Boy. I know, Rudy Booty Boy. <laughs> okay, guys. I think with that, I'm going to go ahead and go. Um, again, thank you all for all the well wishes and all the love that everybody sends. Um, I will still keep you informed on how Chip is doing. I'm going to try to keep him as calm as possible laying down a lot so you won't be seeing him in a lot of videos um going forward i i want him to rest i want him to lay down i know he's excited because i'm here talking and roosters running around but as soon as i leave he'll be able to lay down and calm down um and that's what i want from him is to be as calm and quiet and healing as possible rooster come on now <laughs> So yeah, it, there, there probably won't be too many videos with Chip for the next uh, couple weeks, um, but don't worry, I'm still going to keep you informed on what's going on on this channel via, maybe I'll do some video updates, maybe I'll do some photo updates in the community tab, I'll let you know. But as far as the main channel and the boop channel, we're going to do some work on uh, the new series that I have. I initially called it the Chip and Tiny Show. But now I'm calling it, calling it the Great Guinea Pig Show, and I'm incorporating all the pigs into it. Um, you might want to go check that out, everybody. It's been really fun. A lot of people seem to really like it. 
And uh, I'm just doing videos, uh, other videos with all the other pigs in general over on the main channel, the boop channel and all that. So you go lay down, Chiop. So yeah, um, you'll see Chip on here, but not so much on the main channel for the next couple weeks. So, all right, take care, guys. Uh, I appreciate everything you've done, and uh, I hope you all have a good day, okay? Take care, goodbye, love ya. Why are you looking at me like that, rooster? <laughs>